I'm going to tell you a story about a Tayman. You know, long ago in Ireland, they couldn't buy tea in the shops. So a man went about the countryside in a pony and trap, peddling tea to the peasants. Nobody knew where he came from, or even what his name was. He was known as the Tayman. Now, a Tayman put up one night with a man and his wife in a one-roomed house in which there was only one bed. You had a lot of doors back in them days, thatched houses built by farmers for their workers. They cared about the welfare of their servants, you know. And indeed, he wouldn't stay in such a poke of a place at all, only that the night came down wet and stormy and he couldn't get to his usual lodgings. So he put the pony into the boarded stable at the gable end of the house and he went inside. And when he went inside, the woman of the house, she had just lifted a lovely cream cake from the oven. For all the world like a wheel of an ass's cart with the sign of the cross on it, making the four big spokes. And she carried it across like that way and she lifted up on the ledge of the dresser. And oh, the aroma from that cake, it filled the house. And sure, the poor tear man, his teeth, they were only swimming about inside his head for a slice of the cake. And the woman in the house, seeing the hungry look on his face, she was about to like break off a piece and give it to him. But the man in the house said, no, no, no. She said, you spoil the cake if you break it while it's hot. Can't he wait till the morning like the rest of us? Well, there was no use in arguing with a cranky husband. So after the prayers were said, they all went to bed. Now the order was, the woman of the house next to wall, the man of the house next to her, and the tear man on the outside. And God knows the bed was narrow enough to, should have had to lie like spoonwares in the bed. So that when one had turned, they'd all have to turn. During the course of the night, when the man had occasion to go out, which was often, he had a little frequency, you know, that runs in families, he was slow to leave the woman in the bed with the tear man, so he made her go out with him. And she complained bitterly about having to go out, the breeze going through her. And indeed, in the latter end, she kicked against going out altogether. So after that, when the man had occasion to go out, he lifted up the heavy cradle off of the floor with the child in it and put it down in the bed between the tear man and the wife. And when he came back in, uh, after shedding the tears for Parnell, he lifted up the heavy cradle and put it back on the floor. It was such a busy night as he had. But about six o'clock in the morning, the storm got so bad that it began to lift the boards off of the stable at the gable end of the house. And in his rush to get out to fix it up and keep it safe, he forgot about the wife in the bed with the dear man. And isn't it amazing the way a big problem can make you forget about a little one? Like the man that hit his tongue with the hammer made him forget about his two dead. And when he was gone, the wife turned to the dear man and she says, now is your chance. And what do you think the tear man did? But well, he got up and he ate the cake. <laughs>